like cats, it's the internet. <laughs> what a, you know, this is, this is the lady we're going for, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can hear the bathroom. It like hums because the fan's in there, but it's just one light switch, so I can't like turn off the fan. But the light helps a little bit, otherwise it's just, it's just like, <laughs> also I look like trash because I don't feel great today. But I told myself I was gonna make this because why not? And it sounds fun and this is like my last off day for a week. So we're gonna sit down and film this video. Uh, we're filming in a weird angle because I don't have anything set up to film because by what I, since I've never done it. Hi Zoe, baby girl. That's my cat. That's the toilet, but that's my cat. There we go. This is Zoe, she's my baby. Right. Um, so what is this video? I was watching Sid, this is Sid, her Vlogmas videos, and she did a CD collection, and, um, I have a lot. <sighs> if this video is too long, I might honestly split it into two. <laughs> I have so many CDs. <laughs> we have five, like, stacks of a few, because I had, like, two giant stacks. And so I just like broke it up to organize it a little bit. And I also have this guy here. So yeah, I guess we'll just, we'll start. This is my CD collection. This I got, I was very young. Um, I specifically wanted this Blue's Clues CD case because I had some CDs and I love Blue's Clues, duh. And it's blue, which is my favorite color. <laughs> so in here is a lot more of like my older CDs or ones that I've burned and just don't have like a case for. Also, there's some CDs in here that I, not just here, but like in the whole collection, that I don't know what they are, have never listened to, or just like completely forgot existed. So that'll be fun to see. CD number one, we have Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oops, I did it again by Britney Spears. That's a throwback. Great CD. Then some of these CDs like that I've burned are either because I had them on iTunes and I wanted a CD for my car or like me and my friend Taylor used to buy CDs together at concerts and then we would just like split them up. Um, so this one here is Palisades Mind Games. It's a fun album. It was, we got it after, it was our last night tour, uh, I think it was spring break tour, uh, or up in Orangevale. And it was the first time seeing Palisades, and they were fun. They put on a really good show. We were sweaty. <laughs> Jonas Brothers, It's About Time. Beautiful. This one I got because my friend had the CD, and I was like, bruh, let me get that. And then back here is a really fun one. This is a fun story. So it's called Mix Number One. Very, very original. My sisters, growing up, they're uh, seven and nine years older than me, so like I'd be in like fourth grade and they're in high school, something like that. Uh, so their friends, you know, knew how to make CDs and how to burn CDs and do all these mixes. But her friend made a mix for her and I loved it, so I wanted my own copy. So these are all the songs here. I'll read some of the highlights. Miss Independent by Kelly Clarkson. The Tide is High by Atomic Kitten. Oh my god, that's the way it is, Celine Dion. Swing Swing by the All-American Rejects, my little, like, probably first taste of this music genre. Lady Marmalade. So, like, there's some really good hits on mix number one. So I still keep that CD with me. And I will listen to it every once in a while, and it's it just has, like, a lot of fun memories in it. So <laughs> that's that one. I have a CD that I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what it is. It's It says First Love, I, I don't know if that's the band. I feel like it's the Backstreet Boys, but like I honestly don't remember what they look like. It's these guys, First Love, I don't know. The next one I got back in, I'm gonna say it was, I think it was fourth grade from my parents, they had an extra copy that they found. So it's Celine Dion, Let's Talk About Love. Classic. I used to listen to this album so much once they gave it to me. Like, I listen to it all the time. And then we have Katy Perry, Prism. 
Um, got a copy of that from Taylor. Ooh. Then from that same... <coughs> also, I'm psych. Getting over it. So my voice might not be great. I'm gonna keep coughing. So from that same Our Last Night Spring Break Tour um, with Palisades was also another opener called Picturesque. So it says Speak Softly and I really like theirs. This CD, Kids with a Z. I don't know what this is. Ooh, so some of you may know that um, when I was growing up, my dad and his best friend used to put on a giant haunted house out of my house called Scary Perry Haunted House. Uh, so we would have a long line in front of it. And we would play like music to entertain people because like we had people walking around like scaring them, but just, you know, when there's lulls, it's nice to hear something besides just like thunder and like, ooh. So I made a Halloween 2013 has like thriller and time warp and just other songs that felt spooky to me um we never used it i played it while we were building the haunted house but like they didn't use it i'm only a little salty um this one's called lily so my sister janelle she's my middle sister i've always always called her lily because i could not pronounce her name when i was a kid i made her a cd of a playlist that i made when i was coming down to visit one year and I loved that playlist so much that I made my own copy. So I always made playlists of the set list for the whole like concerts that we were going to when I was um, going to concerts with Taylor. So this tour is probably one of my most favorite ones we ever saw. It was it was a co-headliner with Set It Off in Our Last Night. This was the playlist of the Come Alive tour from 2014 and most of their set list because I didn't have all of the Our Last Night songs. Um, this is a great CD. Like, honestly, I should probably listen to it. It's good. Warp Tour 2015 Road Trip. So this has usually like the bands we're gonna see, some of their top songs, or the ones that they'll play like on set list. Like first time listening to Mayday Parade songs, I was like, oh, these are some good ones on the set list. Like, I'll throw this in and like stuff like that. I listened to the CD a lot too in my car, just like driving in general because it was Warped Tour music as I call it. Um, so that's a fun one to listen to. So the CD is Someone Like You, um, So Much For Being Subtle is the name of the album. It's another copy from Taylor I'm pretty sure. There's a specific song on here that has like fun memories for me. Then we have This Wildlife, Heart Flip. This is like their early CD. It's so cute and I love it and I love this wildlife. I don't listen to them as often as I used to, but every time their songs come on, I just like stop and oh, it's so good. Then we have um, a copy of William Beckett's Genuine Counterfeit on here from Taylor as well. She bought the CD after we saw them at the reunion tour. Uh, we won't present it off obviously, but it was like, we are the in crowd, William Beckett, because he branched out on his own, and he put on a fun set. Unknown CD. One of these, I'm not sure if it's this one or another one. One of these CDs has um, a recording of one of my original songs on it, of me singing and playing the guitar. For a little bit, I took like singing guitar lessons, and they had like a little tiny recording studio thing, so I just sang into a mic and then recorded it. Nothing professionally done or anything but it was just like they made a cd for me and uh that might be that one I'm not totally sure the song that i made i'm honestly like super proud of it still and i wish there was a way i could just like give it to the world give it to someone better who can sing it and perform it themselves because i really loved that song but um not me singing it another unknown disc this slot had two CDs in it, which I used to do when I had no room in here, but now I have room, so I don't know why there's a second one. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> this CD is from my choir camp that I went to, and we had like this really fun American folk song medley that we had to learn, and so they gave us like a CD to practice with before we got there and stuff, so that was cool. Um, 
I don't remember getting the CD when I got it, who I got it from. Uh, Christmas music, disc one. And then there's another one too. Two blank CDs. <laughs> so yeah, that was my Blue's Clues case. Woohoo. See, it's like, it's pretty thick. It's got a good amount. I mean, it's always back to laying behind me, so I have to be careful not to crush it with these. So yeah, went to Goodwill, looked through all the CDs, picked up two. The first one is called Santa Baby. It is romantic favorites featuring Eartha Kitt, Dean Martin, Ella Fitzgerald, Bing Crosby, Diana Krall, Sarah Vaughn. It has a lot of songs that I used to listen to at home during Christmas time a lot, so I wanted to get this one. It's a cute little CD. And then the other one I got at Goodwill. I am so happy because I never had this, the physical copy of the CD. Um, it's very on brand for me. It is Camp Rock. <laughs> I love Camp Rock. This movie is my life. So those are my two Goodwill ones. So I have them normally in two giant stacks, as I said, and it's like the front stack because they're in front of each other. So the back stack, starting bottom to top, is like not what I listen to as much. I like older ones. And then the front stack is like my favorite bands. And then honestly, the whole front stack is filled of my favorite bands at this point. But it's like my number ones to like all the good bands, you know? We'll start with the back stack. So... We'll go into like soundtracks pretty much right now. Um, so this one is the Disneyland, basically Disneyland soundtrack. So there's three discs in here and it has things like Haunted Mansion and Tiki Room and Indiana Jones and like mainstream music. This one I kept in my car for a while. Um, it's just nice to drive to when you live far away from Disney because it would make me feel happy. <laughs> Driving to the Indiana Jones soundtrack is lit. It's like da 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 da. This one is Here the Year 2008. So I was in yearbook class for my sophomore year. And like every year you get a package where it like comes up with, with a CD with like the top songs of the year. And we had, this was in 2011 that I was in the class and we had extra CDs from previous years. So I grabbed the 2008 one. It has Teardrops on My Guitar from Taylor Swift. I Don't Wanna Be In Love by Dan- Oh my god. That song. Wow. Hey There Delilah. Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. Hero Heroine. <sighs> yeah. So this is a fun CD. I listened to it when I got it and it was just like a throwback and now it's like even more. Alright. Next one is fun. Hairspray. Love this movie. Love the soundtrack. Um... I want to be her. The colorful. Woohoo. The next one we have is oh my god. It's my sister copied me a CD cuz she bought like all of the glee songs. And so she <laughs> she copied me a CD of like the ones I wanted on here. So there's some fun ones on here like the Madonna ones are on there and stuff. I also have season 1 from Glee. Um there's some real hits on this. We've got Don't Stop Believing, obviously. Keep Holding On, that song makes me cry. Ugh. Next soundtrack is Catching Fire. I liked a couple songs on here and I was like, maybe I'll love the whole thing. And then I just never listened to it. There's still some good songs on here, but I just never listened to the whole CD. I don't know. But this one is probably my favorite soundtrack that I own. Um, I'm so glad I brought this. It is The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. I love this dang CD. Like, oh my god. It's so good. I would die for this movie. It's my favorite movie, probably. Like, it's up there. I don't have favorites. I can't choose favorites. It's top tier. Next one is the We Love Disney CD. A lot of popular songs made by, like, famous people now. So there's, like, Ariana Grande. Fall Out Boy did one. I love their version. Uh, so yeah, I have this one. <laughs> this next CD, Don't Come At Me, very good band, Nickelback. 
I don't know what album. It might be a mash, like, a playlist, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Mason gave me this. So, it might be a whole album. I'm not really sure. This is another mix that I made. I don't know what's on it. <laughs> That's that. So, throwing back to that Blues Clues case earlier, we have some more Britney Spears. So we have Baby One More Time with that little flower and the color is very 90s. Um, listen to this and that one all the time, like just switched them out constantly. And then once this one came out, I listened to this a lot too. I love Britney, the queen. The next CD, Millennium by Backstreet Boys. I would switch this one out constantly with Celebrity by NSYNC. So these two were like just one album to me essentially because I just constantly played one and then the other mixed in with Britney Spears. The next section is Taylor Swift. I have Fearless, but I don't have the case for it. So I just put in this, but it's like the actual CD. We have Speak Now, which is probably my favorite album by her. Um, I loved this one so much. My mom loved this one too, so we listened to this all the time. And so she surprised me and got me tickets to see her tour for Speak Now. And so we also got the um, World Tour DVD, which also came with the CD. Pretty sure that's how it was. Um, so I have the DVD out with my movies, and then I have the tour CD. <laughs> Next one is Red. Such a good CD, and I honestly forget that these songs exist. Like, I, I just always forget about this album, like, honestly. And it's so good, so I don't know why I always forget about it, but I do. And, yeah. <laughs> and then, we have the beautiful 1989 Deluxe. I bought it at Target. That is the tea swizzle section. And we're almost done with stack number one. So we have four more CDs. Um... <laughs> These next ones were like such big parts of my middle school life and junior high. Um, we have Jesse McCartney, Beautiful Soul. Beautiful album. I sang this and danced to this all the time with my friend Kayla growing up, Right Where You Want Me as well. So those are the two Jesse albums that I have. Oh, I love him. So we also have my queen, Hilary Duff. Metamorphosis. I listened to the CD so much. It has a crack in it. Ignore that. Ow. My parents bought me the CD right before my first trip to New York with them to go see my cousin Jolene. And they bought me a Walkman, my first one, so that I could listen to this and have something to do on the plane. And I listened to this album like nonstop. I made them play it in the car all the time. Like genuinely still love the CD. And then we also got her second one self-titled album um this one wasn't as big as an impact as this one as this one but those are the only two of hers that i have so this is stack one minus my blues clues case so these are all like my older albums soundtracks stuff like that that i still like a lot but aren't as prominent in my daily music intake so yeah, that was my CD collection part one. Um, I was gonna film my own one video, but I think it's just a little too long for that. So we're going to just split that in two. So this is my older soundtracks, nostalgic CDs. Stay tuned for part two, which is all of these CDs. And um, they're my babies. They're the ones that I constantly listen to whether on my like phone on my itunes or just playing these themselves i had almost all of these in my car for a while at some point just like switching them out um so yeah stay tuned to see those ones